Hello, fourth graders. This week, I'm going to introduce you to the new focus artist. This is him. And he is from England. He's British. And his name is Henry Moore. He is a very famous sculptor. And let me tell you a little bit about him. He was born in 1898 in Yorkshire, England. And he was a seventh child um, out of eight children. And his family was rather poor. Okay? And, but they were a really happy family. And when he was 11 years old, he went to the Sunday school and learned about this great Italian Renaissance sculptor named Michelangelo. Okay. And he was very impressed. And, and that's when he decided, I want to be a famous sculptor like Michelangelo too. Okay. And then he was a very good art student throughout junior high and high school. And when he was 18, he was enlisted to go to the, the big war, World War I at that time. And he, uh, after he came back from the war, um, his art talent was recognized and he was granted to go to, uh, he, he got a grant to go to the Lee's Art University to study more about sculpt sculpting. And, and after that, uh, he went to Royal College of Art in London. Okay? And later, he later became a professor and taught sculpture uh, at the same school. Okay? And uh, he got married to a lady named Irina when he was 31. And later became a, uh, he became a head of Department of Sculpture at the Chelsea School of Art. So uh, you can tell he had a very successful art career. Okay. And uh, the World War II happened, um, and after that, and right after the war in 1946, uh, his daughter Mary was born. And about the same time, his own mother, not his wife, but his, his mom has passed away. And during that time, he made uh, quite a few mother and daughter sculpture. And Henry Moore is known um, for abstract, monumental bronze sculptures located around the world as public work of art. A lot of his, of his artworks are outdoor, and some of them are huge. Okay. Now, let me show you this piece right here. Now, this lady looks pretty realistic still. This is one of his early works. And then he his artwork became more and more simple and more abstract like this. I just told you about a little bit about the, the mother and the daughter uh, sculptures. Let me show you an example. Okay, This is quite abstract. Can you tell that this is the mother and the daughter? Mother and the child? The, the big head is a mom, huh? Little one is a child. Okay. And he made a lot of reclining figures like this, too. Okay. And let me show you. I, I told you about uh, that he made a huge abstract piece. Look at this one how, and how big it is. This one is outside. And, oh, uh, to him, the families are really important, so he made a lot of family theme sculptures like this. Okay. And, oh, look at this one. This one is huge. Now, this one is called the arch. 
can see the, the man standing right next to it and you can tell how big this piece is okay. and uh, this one is interesting this was is is inside the building it's not that huge <laughs> but the title is very uh, interesting it's called the moon head you can probably tell why it's called the moon head okay. and the last one and this is also a large piece that stands outside it's called the spindle piece okay. so did you kind of understand what Henry Moore did as a sculptor okay. And I need you to memorize his name, Henry Moore, today. That's a rather easy name <laughs> to memorize. And uh, if you want to see a lot of his uh, artwork, the Art Gallery of uh, Ontario, Canada, if you ever have a chance to go to Canada, that museum has the largest collection of Henry Moore's work. Okay. Now, today, I do not uh, have any project, project you can do uh, in the style of Henry Moore, but I'm going to give you uh, this recipe to make Play-Doh. Okay, so if you have time to make a Play-Doh at home, okay, it takes one cup of flour and then quarter cup of salt. You can tell that's a lot of salt. Don't try to eat that. Okay? And then then here is the liquid, uh, three quarters cup of water, and now this ingredient. Um, oh, oh, that just is tablespoon lemon juice. Uh, if you don't have a real lemon, you can use a bottle lemon juice. That's fine, and one tablespoon vegetable oil, and the any food color coloring, any color that you like. You can divide them up and make a small chunks of different colors if you like. Okay, mix them up and then knead them well and you can make your own Play-Doh. And try to make an uh, abstract um, sculpture, uh, any kind of shape. It does not have to mean anything. You can just make some cool shape out of it. Okay. Try to have fun uh, making three-dimensional art form okay so this is uh, this is it for uh, this week's lesson i will see you uh, last week i mean i'm sorry <laughs> the next week i meant to say the next week will be the last week for the the art lessons at wasatch this year all right okay thank you for watching hey goodbye